Hi everyone! I hope you're having a good time, Starscream. I'm Ame. This is my second attempt at an intro, which I'm not used to doing. We are today in the desert, going to be exploring Tech Knight, uh, the scrapyard, and hopefully getting to Titania's gym, but we'll see what happens. Anything can happen when you already do a false intro and start on a start screen. We are joined by <laughs> former developer Azri. Azri, would you like to introduce yourself? Um, hi, I'm Azri. I've been around in this community for almost 10 years now. Kind of started when I was 12. Like, how the people who know me from back then, I I can tell you very, very explicit details of how annoying I was. <laughs> and I'm sure we will. It's, I think been, that's... A, it's been a long journey. Yeah. It's, it, it's inevitable. It's inevitable. It, it truly but it's is inevitable. been a long journey. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be here. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm glad that we can have you here. I'm just going to briefly interrupt. I want to show you what just happened on my tablet screen. Um, I have this third monitor huh? over here, which I use as a drawing tablet, and it just glitched out. Uh, like... Oh. Let's see. Weird. Where? Hold on, I have to figure out how to angle my. It's upside down. That's why that's not working. You see that the start bar is in the middle of the screen, and it has rolled over, putting Taka on the right, or sorry, on the left, where it should have been on the right. I my tablet has been having a hard time lately. This is a little bit concerning. I don't know if you can tell, but it's oh. also like shaking. So that just now happened. I'm gonna turn oh. that off. I don't think we can see the shaking, but that's pretty awkward. That's a little bit awkward. Um, okay, really? so I'm going to just work through this Tech Knight puzzle. I also had time to cook breakfast, but haven't had time to eat it. So uh, do you want to like do some talking while I'm uh, just going through this and eating breakfast? <laughs> sure, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Uh. What do you guys want to talk about, I guess? Uh, how about you start with how you found your boring and how, how you first got onto the team? And, uh... Um, yeah. Sure. Um, I found it sometime during the summer of 2013. I was watching a show for Let's Play, like, just before summer break started. And I just decided to hop onto the game after. It was around episode 9, I believe. It was, like, June 2013? July 2013? Mm -hmm. Somewhere around that time of the year. And it was honestly a pretty weird experience compared to most other games at the time. Like, there were, the previous romantic I played was, I believe, Flora Sky. And I hadn't played many RPG Maker games besides that. The only other one, I believe, was Raptor EX, which is, like, mm -hmm. old, old. Yeah, that like, was the one, one that the originally... oldest essential games around. Yeah, that was the one that originally told me about Essentials, or that I found out about it, yeah. rather, uh, and led to yeah. being able to make Reborn. Yeah, it, it, it was a different experience. The game was a lot less optimized than it was now. Like, mm -hmm. People tell you that it's been improved massively from episode 18 already, but like, even from episode 18 to episode 9, it's night and day already. <laughs> and one of, the, one of the biggest experience I remember having was like, the second day of playing the game, I was playing at like 9, 10 p.m. at night my time. It was stormy. I couldn't move anywhere in Reborn City. It was dark as hell. Yeah. And like, yeah, that sucks, but at the same time, it's kind of stuck with me, in oh. a way. Like, it's been a, a very memorable thing. In a, oh, I don't want to say it's a necessarily a bad way, because it kind of fits the aesthetic, and I kind of like that, but like, it's stuck with me. Yeah, I can see what you mean. It's not exactly a great experience, but it might be appropriate for, you know, especially like Jasper Barrel Ward, where... Yeah, it, I believe it was right around Onyx Ward when I had that, which is like, not as being, but like, I, I still stick. Yeah. Very fond of it. <laughs> so, for those who don't know, um, episode 19 we tweaked the uh, darkness setting uh, of night so that we could uh, see a little bit better at night. But even before then, uh, we kept having to lighten more and more uh, the, the night tint. The original Essentials had it as fairly dark because the original Pokemon uh, Gen 3 palettes are themselves yep, very, very bright. bright. Yeah. yeah, and whereas I was going for a black aesthetic for Reborn City, yeah. uh, putting that yeah. against the default night setting made it nigh impossible to see, especially the cracks like, in the road. Like, nighttime itself was already dark, but like, then you had stormy weather on top, and oh, I was yeah. like, you are stormy not going to see tint. anything. And I think we lightened that stormy tint as well to help with yeah. So... Oops. Do you always just punch your way through things when they're in the way? Yes. Oh. Well, alright. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, so, okay. So you joined around 2014, and gosh, I didn't really fully track that it's been like 10 years. It's been nine years as of like two months ago. <sighs> I've been playing the game for over 10 years now. Well, just about 10 years, but yeah. Oh no, I can't escape. Save me, chat top. Thank you. Are we in a trap? Yeah. I, uh, I guess we'll just kill it since we're here. Um, golly. So, so we'll get we'll get to the uh, to the fun, embarrassing stories in a moment. We've already told a couple of them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've heard. Um, <laughs> I mean, I think we only have a couple. But, so, um, but uh, talk about how you first came to be on the development team for Reborn. Um. I remember just getting a DM from Marcelo one day asking if I wanted to help out there. I've I'd already been giving like some bug fixes and other things at the time since I believe episode 17 or so. Mm -hmm. And I guess that just led to uh, me joining around July or August 2019. And I stuck around for like, about two years, mostly help with bug fixing, just mm -hmm. dealing with small things and just giving suggestions in general. Yeah. Episode 19 was a long development period, so like, the first two years were very, like, slow on Reborn itself because Ame was mostly working on Starlight at the time. Mm -hmm. By the time I joined, Episode 19's main content had already been finished, so it was mostly just, like, incremental progress and cast reworking things in the background over and over. Yeah, <laughs> as she does. <clears throat> yeah, big improvements. She's great. But yeah, uh, it was honestly a pretty weird experience in part because of how quiet things were on a relative basis yeah well i, was I remember still... like a, a, around when you came back from starlight me when you working on starlight things sped up a lot mm -hmm. so like that contrast stuck in my mind a bit <laughs> yeah it's uh you know i wasn't really able to focus on both no offense once. no offense intended but, like oh of course it, no. it happens i get it yeah uh you know anything that was going on with her born while i was working on starlight was I consider it a bonus, basically. <laughs> Understandable. Um, and so for our part, I believe it was because you had already been suggesting a number on of bug Rejuve, fixes. Yeah. Uh, and because you were on Rejuve's team and already very familiar with a lot of that stuff. Um, how did you end up working on Rejuve's team in the first place? Uh, um, I don't specifically remember. I remember that at some time in 2017, they were asking for help with spriters. I, I, I did a bit of spriting for fun at the time. Mm -hmm. So I just... So I just so I decided to sign up a bit, and one thing led to another, I guess. Because I've already been, been beta testing for Rigi for like years at that point. Mm -hmm. Had you gotten started on spreading from like shiny projects? Um, yeah. Um, some of my shinies are still around. I believe the restaurant one is kind of still quite old. Most of the others aren't that great, but like that <laughs> one's tough. Is that is the that Reshiram Reshiram ones? Is that Reshiram? Yeah, Reshiram Reborn? Reborn. Or Reborn? Yeah, both of them. Both of them? Um, Reshiram and Zekrom in Reborn are the main ones that stick to my mind. Okay, that's cool. Um, and then for our part, I believe that uh, I I thought Marcello had said something about you being interested in learning more programming, which is why you took we took you on as like a programming role. Yeah, um, uh, I, I'm currently majoring in mathematics and computer science, so I'm oh. interested in programming for a while now. Yeah, that'll that'll uh, <laughs> that'll do it. <laughs> and you know, I I certainly appreciate the. The help with stuff uh taka it looks nicer like this anyway um and also oh, you know you're giving advice on things you are certainly a lot more uh familiar with the battle side of the game than i am by now and uh frankly probably just competitive in general fair enough yeah so i i have certainly appreciated your uh help with some uh some of the more difficult uh team comps and stuff i need to find another thing so i can break it uh people are commenting that they like the overall changes wish it was not locked to just another move yeah uh game freak should make more crystal moves that's true but there's like, exactly like two of them yeah literally true two and one of them is on a deancy i uh, vaguely remember there being like some kind of bug during alpha b but like carving or anything would never use power gym you yeah. have to catch them explicitly i need to switch to an earthquaker oops yeah um oh. i'm glad that people appreciate the overall mechanics though we we had tried at some point to think about especially in post game i think what field transformations we hadn't used and one of the ones that azri actually suggested 
that didn't end up making it in because I didn't feel like I had a good place for it under there. Uh, we talked about adding a chamber to the under root. Do you remember this about uh, the crow? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I remember that one. It was, I believe, just, I believe it was like some, I had an idea for the Zygarde quest or something. Was it for Zygarde? It was like, it was, like, it was related to it because uh, one of the ideas I was brought up for the under root at the first, in the first place was that there would be like three Pokemon, the Viper, a Flying type, and Stantmer. Mm -hmm. Because the uh, Zygarde quest was already meant to be sur surrounding the tree there. Yeah, so those three were meant to parallel the deer, the bird, yeah, and, was like, and the snake of that. And I believe the suggestion was for like a room with like a bunch of things that explode corrosive mist. Yes. And so Something you like would that. have to like detonate the chamber in the under root to yeah. proceed. Uh, yeah. We didn't end up doing that because I felt... I don't know, I I ended up making the under root just one map and I kind of liked it like that, but... That's fair enough. It's the it's the kind of thing that I still like think about from time to time. And I'm like, why didn't that happen? Because somebody put like three transformations in this room. There's like a there's like fifty of them in this area specifically. <laughs> I think I tried to set it up so that it was like yeah you know like there's like a it's like, a, it's like the, yeah there's like the other part of tech that you can't get from here that there's also like dark crystal coming yes and then the tailwind and everything like it's a bunch in this specific area. I had fun making this area, but it's uh I can tell. It's, it's a it's a mouthful. It's a bunch. <laughs> hey Tyro. Uh were I taken was I taken aback by how much people like Taka? I wouldn't say taken aback, but I didn't plan on it before E fifteen. By the point like that it, I'm it, it's... Hmm? Oh, sorry. Oh it's like it's one of those things that makes a lot more sense in hindsight than you can actually predict. Yeah. Like, especially nowadays, like, the, I hate to use the word for him, but, like, especially nowadays with the Tumblr sexy man, the, the genre. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I mean, I don't know if you especially saw Especially nowadays, guys. Yeah, I don't know if you saw the thumbnail in the title for the last YouTube video. Um, I've not watched it yet, I'm sorry. Well, that, that's okay. It's just the thumbnail anyway. I photoshopped him uh, onto uh... the Wansler. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, 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 I need to see this. One second. One second. <laughs> And uh, instead of the Wansler holding holding the axe, he's holding Hongage. And uh, <laughs> instead of the Lorax, turns out the Gibble Sprite and the image that I found of the Lorax actually have the same like arms up pose anyway. Oh wow! I'm looking at it right now. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> amazing, genuinely amazing. I love that. You know, sometimes the universe just just uh, the stars right. sort of just align. It's yeah, aligned. exactly, exactly. Poor little Meow Meow would be the most accurate Tumblr category. That's true. That's true. More a Blorbo. I don't think... Man. He's not baby girl territory, though. He's not baby girl territory. <laughs> baby girl territory? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You, you have to be... It's generally like to be a, a pretty bad person. Not in the sense of talk where it's like... Talk is a bad person. But also like... I don't know. Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm one, just like... stuck on, on, firstly, baby girl being a territory, and secondly, I'm now, I'm now imagining Taka hanging out with Leon Kennedy from Resident Evil. <laughs> oh god, because that term specifically is in my mind because of him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I keep seeing people calling him baby girl, it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fan. I also really like the Tramp Stamp Leon mod. <laughs> That's amazing. I've seen that one. It's amazing. There's a place like this out here. It's not going to disappear when we approach it, right? Um, by the way, just so you know, I can't swim. Father didn't exactly deign to enroll me in the after-school swimming club as a kid. Sorry. Yeah, kinda aren't very many places to swim safely, thanks to him. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. Oops! I can just, uh, can just power some gems. We had to use Carbink here, if I recall correctly, because, like, there are no other Pokemon that have Power Gem at this level. Like, yeah, I believe it was just Gigalith, maybe? Because I remember Gigalith not being here previously, but that's about it. Just Carbink. Yeah, something like that. Uh, what's with the Waterfall Rail Triver thing? R river Trail, not Rail Triver. Um, can we, can we go? Okay, no, it was not Giga Left. Why are we, why are we encoring? I think it was Bulldore at a lower level or something. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Um, uh, no, so like, 
funny, as, as I mentioned before, before, I was 12 when I joined the community. <laughs> I joined in 2014, which was the last year the online league was around. So unfortunately, I had bedtime still. And the league started at 1 a.m. Uh, 1 a.m. Yeah, my time, that is. It. We, we did our best for Europeans, but I was mostly limited to running that after I got back from university classes in the evening. Yeah, I understand it all. Um, so, the reason this, this is like this is because I wanted to make it so that you still had to activate this crystal even if Taco wasn't with you, which maybe I shouldn't have done. Uh, but, alas, I was just trying to get more crystal types in. Oh, that's convenient. No swimming necessary, or punching for that matter. Yeah, and that's if you battle early and it was hard to get an early spot. You really had to be there um, at the head of things because we would fill up like, you know, 15 places, 15 battles out on each line immediately. So here is dead end, huh? Deja vu. At least there's this, I guess. Buginium Z, okay, sure. I think that used to be poison jab, right? Uh, I... Maybe I don't. I don't remember specifically. I know Poison Jab was in this area. I don't know if it was that. I think it was. And then there's my crazy ass says Akari, who would volunteer to go last, so that my leader was the last one and could hang out. Oh, I forgot you did that. And and Akari, I'm gonna be honest. I kind of worried if uh if that was like bad for your like school productivity because it meant that you were always sleep deprived, right? Which character, if any, did you guys expect people would love from the start? Um, I mean, I kind of had a sense of that because of the polls that existed before, uh, before the game was a thing, just from the online league. But let's see. A little. I'm sorry for your education, <laughs> Karu. <laughs> I appreciate your sacrifice. Um, let's see. Who? Who? Luna, I think, was the one who was particularly popular. Um, Amaria was popular until the episode 17 stuff, and that wasn't surprising to me. Uh, after episode 17, naturally, she got extremely fucking controversial, which, you know, I, I love Amaria, but I, I think that it's way more interesting for her to be in that space rather than just being a generically likable character. Hashtag controversy. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Teach the controversy. Um, let's see, who else? Um... Charlotte, I think, was always... Nah, maybe yeah, she I just like generally her. liked Charlotte, yeah. Yeah, like, generally, I wouldn't say she was popular, all. but most people liked her. Way better after yeah. I nearly drowned. <laughs> um, I want to say Kane, too. Oh, yeah, Kane for sure, that's true. That's absolutely true. Kane, Kane was always going to be in that space. Way better after I nearly drowned. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? Worried about you, Odd. Alright. <laughs> Shifting draft winds through the peaks. Wow, despite being above the desert, it's almost chilly out here. Must be that breeze. Um, some of these rocks look precarious. I'm not really good with heights, but I'll try to follow you as best I can. Says the mostly flying type trainer. <laughs> yeah, true. I mean, honestly, the Pokemon I guy with a pole is looking around. <laughs> I think that works for him. Excuse me. It's, it just makes it extra funny. These story bits with Taka were truly precious to me back in the day. Oh yeah, so I was saying I didn't expect Taka to be popular um, before E15, but by this point in development, I was already hard leaning into that. So it was very deliberate at this point. I'm like, oh, I will feed them and then I will take it all away. Yes, that's me. Take I am a simple. All the way. Okay, so I had meant to God before, and we kind of got sidetracked with stuff. Uh, how did you first get on to Rejuice team then? Was that was that the Chinese? Uh, no, I did ask that, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you did, you did. So you were, you were there, you were Rejuve, uh, we talked about you getting on the team. So what kind of stuff, was it mostly just bug reports? Is there anything that you did when you were on our team that stood out? Uh, bug report, um, bug reports, mostly yeah. just helping out here and there. Um, one thing I did add was the whole midbound evolution thing at one point. That was oh, yes! Fun, no project. I don't think I took it as far as I wanted to, because at one point me and Marcella were talking about maybe making it so we could use the stones midbound as well. Hmm. And that bit stood out to me, but I don't think I ever got around to doing it. That would have been very interesting. I don't recall if I heard about that. Um, well, um, it was in a server at some point, but I don't think, as I said, it didn't go through. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, I could see, I, God, what situations would that even be, like, 
um, evolutions, like Pikachu's a Raichu, like, other Raichu's like stuff. There's like one funny situation you can get into right now, specifically, where you can technically use a new move of Camera Kite, evolve at mid battle, and then Mega Evolve at the next turn. Why would you want to do that though? You don't, but it's for fun. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> like, it's not even because you should, it's just because you can. I see, understandable, understandable. We need to make it like the uh, the Pokemon trading card game where evolving cures your status. <laughs> that sounds funny. <laughs> oh yeah, so simple, Numa are simple. So you can, like, you get, like, That's true. Get, like, get, and if the sun is up, you can get like plus three in one turn and then just get... <laughs> that would be ridiculous. Uh, and hey, Flower Garden does buff growth. True. And it does get eruption, so that gets really silly. But you would need to kill something to level up, right? So uh, level. yeah, but you have a partner probably in, that, in a specific flower garden fight, so... <laughs> One day someone will do it. One day someone will do it. Someday, someday. It just got that much more windy. A breeze like yeah. this could blow you right off the mountain. Or across it, maybe? That feels like a stretch, though. You guys are breaking all kinds of safety precautions in here. This is not OSHA certified. I'm not sure what's more unsafe. Hopping across all this rock like it's a thing people do, or the entire rest of my life. Well, you're, you, you are a high-ranking member of a giant Turgos organ. So you tell <laughs> us. Yeah. Remember that time I said crossing the mountain using the wind was a stretch? Consider me stretched. Stretch that <laughs> I, I can't take that line seriously. I cannot take that line seriously. <laughs> That's fair. It's not meant to be that serious after I know, I just, I just, my mind wanders and I start laughing. Uh, switching places when the player, when they turn around, jump back. Just like, you ju you both jump and high-five in midair. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly, a car was right there with me. Hit the high-five mid-jump. While jumping across platforms like, of like... How tall are these even? Tall enough, I... Don't worry about it. Yeah, fair enough. Oh no! Anyway. Um... So, so what I had was the in-depth version of this image. This is just a very small thumbnail that was deliberately, uh, yeah, posted very small so that you couldn't read the text on Patreon before this came out. Because uh, I believe this was like partway through episode 17 development that I posted this. So like, like the image for, um, like the image for Sujuline, uh, this is what I passed on to another team member at the time to work from as far as mapping these areas out. So you can see that this is the general layout. We have four floors. Uh, we are currently in this area up here at the top right. Does this pick up a mouse? Yeah. Um, where there are two summit level things and then there's the ridge below. Uh, and then each of these has the crystal transformations. So this is where Buginium was. This is where the water waterfall room was. And this is showing that there's a couple different divides that this splits off into different rooms here. Um, now I had all these texts and stuff to, to read and point out, uh, unfortunately that image got deleted and I have not been able to find where I have, have it saved locally. I do have it saved locally somewhere, so this is not a huge deal with this one. I'm just concerned with the implications of other stuff, but yeah, fuck Imgur. Uh, so that sucks. Uh, I guess we should have gotten to this last week. <laughs> fuck, that's so uh -oh. stupid. That's, God, frustrating. Um, anyway, what I, what I do, uh, what I can say that I remember from memory, um, cause I, I can't read my handwriting when this, when it's this deliberately small and corrupted. Um, but this area up here, you see, I have a little sketch here. I had originally wanted, that's where the Jangmo egg is. I had originally wanted to maybe explore getting some kind of parallax in that showed, you know, the desert and a distant forest beyond, and then, uh, like, uh, mountains and a distant city beyond that hinting to another bordering region. And I didn't really have anything in mind in particular with that. I just thought it would be like a really fascinating hook for people to build onto. We ended up not doing it because we didn't really have a good visual style that would feel consistent with the rest of the game to to make that parallax in, which is why that's just sky. But it is something that, uh, that I thought would have been really cool had we been able to implement that. Uh, the rest of this is probably just, you know, notes for the, for the field changing mechanic. So, you know, thanks, thanks Obama, thanks Imgur, thanks Imgur Obama. <laughs>
for heat more for lower reasons. You want to be the one who eats rather than the one who is eaten. Consumed ants. <laughs> like, fair enough. Ants suck. Sorry to suck. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of ants or insects, which is why I'm like, mm, yeah, but you know. Insects are fine for the most part, but I have a specific thing with ants because, oh. Our old house used to have like yearly ant infestations during the summer. It oh was no! Oh, when I hear it, I'm. It's only because it happened. It's only because it happened like so. Like our bathroom was like right next to our garden, and that's what usually happens. So they just come and crawl into our bathroom every summer. Miserable. That that sounds miserable. I'm I'm sorry. So you you probably uh really dislike that that tidbit behind Crawberry's backstory. Have do you know about that about uh, her thing with the ants? Um, I don't recall, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. I think I've said it so on the stream in the past. Um, but... But, uh... So, so, the the neighbor that we had, that Miss Crodberry is based on, uh, among huh? all the other shitty things she did, uh, pulled one gambit where she snuck into her neighbor's house. We, we were across the street from her, but she snuck into her adjacent neighbor's house. And, uh, they had, they had a kid. Uh, and she hid chocolate under the kid's pillow so that they would deliberately get an ant infestation in their house because she didn't like them and uh, she wanted them to move away and that ended up working. To a kid. To a kid. That's a level of spitefulness that I, I'm not sure about respect, but also like, wow. Like, there's a, there's a layer to that spitefulness. It's, it's pretty, like, crazy. It's not... You know, how, how could you think of doing that? I'm like, you, you know, know you're not just take a step back and like, wow. <laughs> gotta, gotta examine your life choices. Really? Uh, how did I hear of this from my mother? Who heard of it, I believe, from the neighbors who were moving away. Uh, because we, you know, we... Housewives talk. <laughs> not that my mom was a housewife, she was a single mother, but nonetheless. Um, you know, like, saying this, it sounds like something that would be made up, and I'm like, I, am I, is this real? Is this a real thing that I'm saying? But I'm pretty sure that really happened. Everything I know suggests that really happened. Some people are really real people, and you just have to live yeah. with that. <laughs> I was going to become concerned that you put a hate, char hate character in here, but now I'm glad you did. That's horrible. Yeah. No, there were so many things with the woman. There was the there was the cat she almost killed. There was, I just remembered, you know, she had left her own dog out uh, when she was away from the weekend, and it snowed over the weekend. Uh, and so the dog kept yelping, and we ended up having to go, go rescue it. Did she ever interact with me firsthand? No. She didn't, actually. Um, she... The most I ever got from her firsthand was like weird looks and bad vibes, basically. Because she she typically did not leave her house um, except to like you know open the porch and yell at our cat or whatever. Um, How can I, you I never... yell at Kara? Say what? How can you yell at Kara? Oh yeah, um, true. But this was actually our previous cat. We had another cat named Alan, oh, oh, uh, oh who, okay, then. who spent a lot of time in her yard. Granted. Um, but, but yeah, she was, uh, okay. In the episode 19 development post, everything is still there. Fascinating. I wonder if they're going old to new. Sword stance. In case, we're... Oh, nice. What were you going to say? Oh, like, what is it? Why would the thing you posted be gone then? Like, uh, think about, think about, about... Well, cause that was still, that was still from 2017. Ah, I think you recently reposted it. That's and that's why it's gone. But I mean, mm, I don't think so. No, yeah, no. I just I dug up the old link. Literally crawd pilled. I hate that term so much. I think it's great. Uh, I think we should. I think we should adopt that. I hate that though. Like, just I want to be clear. I think we should adopt that, but I hate that. Okay, everybody clear? Great, thank you. This might be as far as we can go here, but at least the view is nice. Maybe if I can run far over the horizon, then we'll finally learn to be happy. Okay, I um, forgot that that was, uh, I forgot that that was, um, a line there. That's like, okay, so you know how our studio name is Chasing Celine, which is 
the moon. Seling is the, the Greek name for the goddess of the moon or whatever. And the idea is, you know, chasing the moon over the horizon. It's an impossible task, but fucking we'll go and do it anyway. And I ended up referencing that with Corey's uh, speech unintentionally. I didn't try to make that a deliberate reference because I picked the name later, but I forgot that I had also mentioned it here. Apparently that's a concept that I just keep coming back to. If I didn't love Taka before I saw the high relationship version of this line, this is where I fell for him. What 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 is that version? Was he like, you know, come with me or whatever? You had something to do with that doctor guy joining us recently, right? That guy creeps me out so much. He's almost stalking Lynn. Like he's obsessed with her or something. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, you've been getting a lot of shinies this stream. <laughs> yeah. On the topic of Crawberry, why does she explode during post game? Because it would be funny. Like, she doesn't actually explode. That's probably just, like, you know, that's probably some godchild shenanigans. Special effects. Yeah, Featuring exactly. Godchild. Special effects. She she still appears in the nightclub after that, so she's not actually gone or anything. Maybe she just respawns all the time. <laughs> like, maybe explosion is just a part of her function somehow. Who knows how she works? Yeah, true. It's fucked up. What's the probability of Shinies are boring is 1.07%. I, I huh? put that as an arbitrary number towards star development. I wanted to lower it later. Um, because oh, I, I, especially once we got online play, I think that it would have been nice for Shinies to be a little bit more valuable. Um, oh, Lynn does say she exploded. But are you going to believe Lynn? Um, anyway, I, I interrupt myself. Uh, I didn't nickname that and I should have. Oh, well. Next time. Uh, if anybody wants to be that shiny Amanda Buzz, we can fix that in post. Um, I really wanted to lower the percent later on, but if I did that, then... Then, uh, I did try to do that in a previous episode, actually, but the way the shinies are generated, it meant that Pokemon that had already been caught as shiny then ceased to be shiny. So that rate was immutable. I could not have lowered it without altering existing save files. Um, has Lynn ever lied? <laughs> yeah, no, never. She's totally trustworthy. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I just, I stopped talking when these two Pokemon loaded up because it looks like Mandibuzz is just sniffing Talonflame's armpit. Anyway, I'm running now. Um, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Not something I wanted to think about, but all right. Do you think? Oh shit! What did that just say? Uh, Gotta wonder second. what something is like out here. But then again, mood. Uh, uh -oh. yeah. yeah, it's it's about the good hygiene. Oh, we can't get to the jing mog yet. I forgot about that. Oh well, mama light, mama light is so worth it for the trip out here. That's big. That's big for me yeah. as a person who likes mawile. But then again, I also I have wouldn't like mawile. You do? You said? Hmm? Who wouldn't like mawile? <laughs> Third shiny. Okay, once again, how do I not kill this Skarmory? All right. Now I believe that is Technite clear. All right, that's a good Skarmory name. Yeah, I dig it. Hi, hello. Really, really. This really? one, the Bulldor line here, I believe oh, we based I... off of uh, the the crystal things from Borderlands too. I, I. I want to say that was mine, because I vaguely remember doing the Gigalith. Oh, nice! <laughs> that's... okay, that's... that's some... wow. Throwback? Okay. Yeah. Excadrill. Disgusting. Get out of my sight. What did Excadrill do to you? What didn't Excadrill do to me? Uh, probably a lot of things. <laughs> but so, your tech... <laughs> bygones are bygones! They happened! They leave the past! Leave the past. It's making up for its lessons. Oh, that's shiny number four. I think we're on five, five by actually? now, yeah. Yeah, nice. What's the story behind the scrapyard in Cannes? Was it created post op apocalypse Nurborn? Um, it was a work in progress the whole time. It's one of those Giratina disturb disturbances where trains keep getting derailed because of bizarre reasons. It's like the Bermuda Triangle, basically. It's it's like the Bermuda Triangle of trains, but in a desert. Oh, I, I, I actually it's a metaphor. really like that explanation. <laughs> it's a metaphor, so that means that it's Giratina's problem. Yes, exactly. Basically. Exactly. 
<laughs> Wait, why is this weird thing happening here? Giratina did it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <sighs> Why is there a threat of Ame raiding the, every Pokemon's cull ability? <gasps> we never finished that! We gotta finish that at some point. Well, I maybe not with the new like gens. Gen two, maybe Gen 3? I remember that much. Rating. Oh, rating. That, yeah. That yeah, ends at Deoxys? Damn. That's that's shameful. Yeah. I should at least go through Gen 7. We gotta get the fairy types. Remind me not to let you drive me anywhere ever again. Actually, it wouldn't be such a bad end with you. Aw, that's adorable. You summoned all the simps in one line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Deoxys better be high. You want to cuddle Deoxys? Oh, Protag, will you marry me? <laughs> I'm a man. <laughs> I'm sorry for always being such a burden. See, here's the thing about the scrapyard puzzle. I like this puzzle. I think that it's a decent puzzle as far as feeling in the area. Um, but it surprises me when people say that they have trouble with it because the extent of this puzzle is just, you know, walking around and doing what you can. It's one of those puzzles that is like barely a puzzle in that sense. I feel like the most of the trouble probably, most of the trouble probably just come from just knowing where to go really. Once you figure it out, you'll be fine. Well, even then, it's just like you can all you can do yeah. all trial and error. Let's see. Let's this is a big it's, area. It's I think it's probably like the big entrance on the left that maybe gets people. Probably, probably maybe it's the it's the uh, confusing entrances. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. And the fact that it's really hard to tell where you are. Maybe so. Like everything looks a little identicalish. I guess I don't have the same perspective of that being the one that made it. I, and, uh, uh, but I, I get what you mean. I could have added some more landmarks. So it has been informed to me that this steel memory is technically missable if you yeah. take the train up here got... and then jump down without getting it. Yeah, that's it. A... And I've got to say, at that point, I think that's not a me problem. Like, I don't like that, but come on. Uh... Those legends can be finicky. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, but it's also only one tile wide, so if you've managed to just jump down there immediately without notice, noticing the items... Yeah, that, that, that's a you thing at that point, but also I see how it happens. Yeah. Exactly, like, nobody's going... It's like, uh, it would be like, you know, going to one of those event Pokémon, uh, and then, you know, when it asks if you want to accept it coming with you, you say no. And then and it just then, goes away and then complain about it. Yeah. Those gem puzzles are very fun. I just don't want to do them again. <laughs> That's fair. Gem puzzles suck. I wonder who made them. They probably suck as well. Damn. We are out here fighting. I really don't think that Omri is, is like even a puzzle. It's not a puzzle, but it's it, that one definitely sucks. <sighs> Like, there's no sarcasm there like before. I, I don't like a phrase, Jim. <laughs> that, that, place, that place stinks. I don't like it. <laughs> it's no wonder she's, you know, a little bit, yeah, you know. <sighs> she's having a time. Uh, I get that, but uh, that place stinks. Oh, I just mean it's because of the gym. The gym is the reason for everything. And uh. see, it's really, it's really the other way around, I think. I, I really wanted to make a gym that you could just like, th that she and you as the player could just get lost in for hours as like a coping mechanism for the Depresso. If only that was fun. <laughs> That's fair. It's so pretty, but it's so agonizingly slow. Yeah, I don't love the... Like, it, it, I feel like it's one of those things that you can appreciate it, but also if you're trying to play it again, the game again for some reason or whatever, it gets yeah. really annoying. Very quickly. That's fair. I think I want off of Amy's wild ride. And I, it's not even like one of those things like, okay, if you play the game alone, of course things are gonna get annoying. I think it's just something that gets annoying, even on a second playthrough. Yeah, that's fair. You know, I, I certainly can't defend how that place has turned out. That's it though, the, the hidden- Okay, this is one thing I want to wait for when- if you get to the, the stream. But there's a, there's a specific item there that made me laugh a lot my first playthrough. The X-Scissor? The X-Scissor! Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
And I remember the fact, I remember talking to you about this about two years ago. And you said you did not intend for it that to mean that at all. Mm-hmm. You didn't even think about it. And I'm still baffled by that. How? How? Like, I know you just had to place a TM somewhere, but mm-hmm. like... That... <laughs> well, and how? here's the thing. That problem was even worse as of E19. Because uh, at the start of the game, episode 2 now, Amaria is the one that gives you cut. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, I see. You're leaning into it. No, I didn't oh, do that on purpose God. either. I did not do that on purpose either. Yeah, yeah, I, I oh my it just, God. It just deep in your mind, right? Like the associations were already there. Like, hmm. Maybe. Amy. Well, no, it was because like, like, it was because I wanted to change it so you no longer had to walk across the whole city to get cut. Like, uh, and giving like, uh, chasing Amy was a reason to go like oh, put yeah, her in yeah. the story. So now, now Amy just shares one of hers with you. <laughs> what were you gonna say, As? Like I remember, it's probably one of those things that like, sub- your mind just thought about it before you even like you really didn't actually think about it. Your mind just knew about it. Maybe but, like, I don't know how to put it. Like, like you put it there with an intention, but you just didn't actually think about it at the same time. I don't know. I was trying to solve an entirely different problem with that one, but but maybe with X. Oh, I meant, I meant the Exodus DM, uh, the cut finger. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> You're also too exceptional to avoid. So I originally was going to make uh, Scrapyard in like three parts. You know, that, that first oh. area was going to be one part, this was going to be another part. This is another case of by the time that I finished the first area, I was just a little bit tired, so this is more oh, like a bonus on top of the first area. Did you, like, fuse the ideas from parts two and three together here, then? Probably. Like, it was all the same general concept, just, uh... A bit more... Okay. Yeah. Um, I also have... If Imgur hasn't deleted it... No, I uploaded this one directly on Patreon. This one's gonna be hard to see, uh, because this is just on paper. Um, but this was... My original switch for the scrap, sorry, original, um, sketch for this scrapyard. And this is, like, it, it is just in pencil, so it's very hard to see. Um, but you can see there's the general shape of it curving around the mountain that was down here. This ended up being more of a circular loop, because we... Uh, added the connecting piece between train town and here uh i believe the reason that happened you know uh was because when i was mapping either the desert or the scrapyard um it was on a patreon stream and they had suggested if we do that one thing uh going from the end of the first map where you just ride a train through you know a bunch of others uh and i'm like you know what that sounds that sounds fun and interesting, let's do that. Uh, but that also made it a one-way thing, which is why I had to end up adding this bottom right section where you can walk back around to the front. Um, but you can see originally this is how I started sketching it, just with geometric shapes of areas, and then, you know, you have to do a thing here in order to access a thing there, in order to access a thing there, etc., in order to get up there. Uh, I think these dotted lines were like, you know, flipping, flipping a switch here lets you pass through this way. And this is this is clearly a, a rough state of it because this doesn't actually correlate very well to the current state of the scrapyard, but this is this is still how I got started. And then Tanya's gym was originally more up at the top right, and it got moved down to kind of over here, more to match the position of the mountain in the, in the overworld desert. Now it is time for us to say goodbye to Taka. Forever? No, not forever. He's just taking a nap. He'll be fine. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Kill the boy, says chat. <laughs> chat or Cass? Oh, that was Cass. <laughs> <laughs> I've been had. Bamboozled. Mm-hmm. Here's where I use debug. If you don't enter that location, he never leaves your side. That sounds like something people would do. Several people. I, I know several people that would do that. <laughs> you literally need to say he's your boyfriend if you want max relationship points. It's true. Although you don't need max relationship points to get his ending. 
Well, howdy, partners. We thought we was hearing some kind of racket, but we figured it was just the local Steelix giving a good tussle again. Uh, nope. Is there a reason he picked Barney colors for this Ranger character? Yeah, it's because I refuse to acknowledge this combination as Barney colors. Um, I think that this is just a nice combination. Who's Barney? He's a dinosaur from a kid's TV show. Uh, I, I, I know, I was making I was being facetious there. <laughs> How do you get enough relationship points with him to get the special dialogue? So there, uh, you know, if you if you do everything right for the rest of the game, uh, there are a lot of points with him just for exploring the whole desert with him. Uh, and also if you talk to him in each of the four sub areas, the Scrapyard, Mirage Tower, Siege Line, and Tech Knight, you get a relationship point with him there. Uh, I don't know if I remember to do all that. I probably didn't. Um, especially because I think some of that might depend on rolling the specific location uh, dialogue for that. If I did do that, that's bad of me, and I should not have done that. Um, I feel like at this point you, you've already gone past the point where you can't get it because you didn't get the special dialogue at Tech Knight already. Didn't I? Well, whatever. Cringe. You, cringe. I wanted, cringe. 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 The one at the mobile, for example, is like with six or more, and you didn't get that one. Hmm. Oh well. <laughs> Guess Taka hates me. Cringe. I'm not simping enough for you. Correct. Oh, okay. Simp more on me. All right, all right. Set a good example. <laughs> and then get banned on Twitch. Okay, sounds good. Oh, right. I forgot we can't say that. <laughs> Are you going to get some Blue Moon lemonade now that talk is napping? We debugged and got it before to show the dialogue. I did get oh, the wow. Solaris dialogue. I made sure to get that one. All right. Just two crazy people with a train. Well, you know, we all been there. Some good old-fashioned train jousting is just the best sport we got out here. Yeehaw! <laughs> that sounds safe. Anyway, my name's Europa. Y'all looking for a place to rest? Rest? I don't think I've heard of that before. Oh, you joker! We don't exactly get a lot of visitors out here, but there's a few of us who hang together for our own reasons. Oh, I figured it out. Huh? I, I, I understand now why, uh, why Team Meteor managed to get Taka. Why? Because huh? Europa's with them. That's a celestial body. It is? Yeah! I didn't know that. Oof. It is a moon! Imagine oh. not knowing that. <laughs> okay, nerd. Spit my lip. <laughs> well, that explains why he dies. <laughs> wow, he. I can't believe that? she was a traitor all along. Some of us are chasing peace, others fleeing violence. Don't matter who you are, though. You're welcome to stay with us as long as you'd like. We got each other here, and that's all we need. This... It's not... I think it goes beyond just stars at some point. It's like, generally celestial bodies. Yeah, pretty much. Borealis really, uh, kind of throws it for a loop. We're really running out of names here, says one of them at, at the top. <laughs> This might work out. Well, that's weird because Borealis is one of the older ones, too. Yeah. Maybe we should have named all the grunts after minor stars. That would have been a good That could have been some point you yeah. started. I think at some point you started renaming the grunts with uh, patrons, right? Yeah, I did. Well, uh, for a couple cases. I really didn't want to do that because that means changing, like, you know, five battles per character and there's a chance of something yeah. breaking that way. Yeah, defense as well. It's. It, it's probably easier nowadays, but I might start mm -hmm. out kind of Yeah. It started in episode 17, I believe. Yeah, yeah. That sounds about right. This might work out. Y'all got a story to tell? Amy probably has several. And I, uh... I'm just looking for some more safe. Well, congrats! You need a of a beautiful on Bill. <laughs> you found it. If you like, I can set you up with one of your own personal trains and what few accommodations we've got. So, wait, you guys just live in the trains out here? Because you can? Pretty much! Yeah, sounds great. If it's no trouble, that'd be a big relief. Well, right this way, sir! So, uh, for the, for the matter of Buffalo and Phil, um... There is, I don't, I don't know much about, like, the actual historical person, but 
uh, there is a memorial in our city to the actual person, Buffalo uh, Bill, who was like some famous wrangler or something, which is why in, that was in, in my our head. city is kind of a stretch. Well, it's on the, it's in the metro area. In the metro area is a bit of a stretch. It's on the fringe of the metro area. It's near here. Just say that it's near here. Okay, it's near here. It's literally in the mountains, like... Okay, but it's Lookout Mountain. That doesn't count. That's Baby's First Mountain. God. Golden, Colorado, okay? It's in Golden. Yeah. Okay. But, like, that's part of the metro, right? No. No? No. Oh, I thought it was. Oh. Oh, well. It's, uh... It's Denver or Aurora Lakewood, usually. I thought Golden was just the north side. Isn't, like, Thornton we, and stuff even part of the Golden metro? Golden is to the west. But, like, northwest, right? No. Oh, no. It's directly west of here. Like, like directly west. Like, like you go down to 6th, and you take 6th, and then you're in Golden. I'm bad how, at geography. How long have you lived here for? Um, Chuck's watch, uh, my whole life. How long is that? 30 years. Wow, you're old. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, happens. So anyway, uh, you not knowing the city aside, uh, I noticed that its address is uh, 987 and a half Lookout Mountain Road. Like I base well, so I basically thought that Lookout Mountain was effectively part of Golden, and I thought that Golden was effectively part of the metro. I was pointing out the half, but oh yeah, that's interesting. I don't uh, understand yeah, that. Yeah, no. If you want to keep defending where you thought it was, <laughs> you can do that. But I just thought it was interesting that it had a half. There. That that is, I don't understand how that works. <sighs> Please excuse me. I know you. Do you remember me? But we fought once before, at Dr. Connell's orphanage. My name is Stephanie. Well, the others have taken to calling me Stethoscope because of this outfit. I keep telling them I'm not a doctor myself, but you and that girl were pretty impressive. It seems that as a result of that incident, the doctor took a leave of absence from the facility. It's hard to forget an event like that. Even so, I didn't expect to see you here. I came here hoping to avoid everyone. The truth is, a while after the doctor left, we were recruited by Team Meteor. They said we would receive wages if we... Or we would stop receiving wages if we didn't switch over to working for them. Most of us were coerced into working for them. I don't even know what happened to the other children. But I still refused, even under threat of harm. When they what said... What did happen to them? Hmm? What did happen to them? Uh, I've always wondered. Maybe they're back out on the street, or maybe they're just kind of having a big long sleepover in the building with nobody there. Maybe maybe Adrian found something for them. Clearly they, they get back to that point, because... Well, no, okay, so we have the key. We see that the orphanage is empty later, so they were clearly out of the orphanage. Uh, let's assume that like Adrian... Is there, another, is there another, another orphanage in another ward, maybe? Like, we don't see it, but like, there might be. Oh, they could be at the Blackstein shelter. Oh, but that would happen after media leaves, and it happens like midway. Yeah, maybe That's until weird. then they're just down on the street again. Damn. Damn. But, <laughs> but you know, they at least go back there. We see in uh, Blake's post game ending. Yeah. When they said they would not let me go, I fled and ran here. I was lucky to find this company and shelter, but it is very difficult compared to my old life. I have been researching how we can more effectively grow food in this kind of environment so that we don't struggle so much to get by. But it's hard to adjust to these kinds of people, this kind of living. I don't dare go back to the city, though, not until Team Meteor isn't active anymore. Anyway, this has been a surprise, but I should get back to work. Not just for my own sake, but I'd like to ensure that the others can keep living a free life here, too. Frankly, trying to get anything to grow with so little water is unreasonable. That's the main problem. We sometimes have water brought to us, and we can sometimes luck into it in a mirage, but neither of those are really reliable. If we could find even just a single consistent water source in this desert, we'd probably be just fine. Blah blah blah, yes, we have found it. Eh? 
You've already seen one. In the cave to the west. The Techno Mountains. But that's not far at all. This could be huge. I'll start reassessing my options right away. As a token of thanks, please take this stone. I'm not sure what its properties are, but I found it while I was out looking myself before. Alright. So now I'm at the part of the game where I have to reconcile with the fact that I'm fighting Titania. Alright, who else we got around here? It's daytime, so I guess Bill will be in here. Well, well. Just call me Buffalo Aunt Bill. Ain't no shortage of odds and ends we've been salvaged up from the supply trains around here. Yeehaw. Give me a holler if you want to see what I got. Yeah, this right. is Yeehaw Town. Holler. Yeah, true. You want to know how I got my name? Well, it's kind of a long story, but I'll just say this. It involves a herd of buffalo, <laughs> high-speed tractor, and the real reason the old rail net had to be shut down. <laughs> I am allowed huh? in Reborn City after, no more after that. Let's buy some Ultra Balls. Just a couple. That's fine. Am I healed? I appear to be healed. Let's see. Oh, and there's the teleporter already. I forgot I added that. Welcome to Train Town. Name's Algeus. Suppose you already met my wife? The two of us got a little stir crazy cooped up in the city. So we decided to hoof it out here and see what kind of adventure we could make. In the end, we never wanted to go back. Mostly people looking to escape the city. For instance, Miss Percy, we found her collapsed out in the desert. Apparently her husband had sworn to kill her if she stepped foot outside one more time. So she ran to somewhere he'd never found her. Sometimes there's that strange kid wandering around too. Or that kid wandering around too who's a str Oh, I forgot to go get uh, Corin Rouge. Yikes. Uh-oh. Did you hear Spartan in the sea yet? Hmm? Did you hear Spartan in the sea yet? What are you saying, Mike? Yeah, I couldn't actually understand that, so sorry. Wait, did you hear Spartan in the sea? Like, here's part of the quest in the sea. Oh, yeah, uh, we did We did it through when he jumps on the train, but I forgot to go get him from oh. the desert. Anyway, I hope you'll make yourself at home here. If you need anything, you let my wife or I know. So that, that kid is Marcello, the lemonade kid. <laughs> what a weirdo. I know, right? Yeah, that that part is required to get him to appear here. So let's just let's just take a quick run around, uh, run around the scrapyard, and be right back here. Like I'm, I'm pretty sure that you always have to see him there before train time. I think it's the no, they're right that the police chief was missing, so he was able to flee the city. I see. Then it's out of our hands. Well, don't feel too bad about it, sport. You did well in finding him. One way or another, he's gone, so we won't be hurting anyone here for a while. He knows the area like the back of his hand. He'll probably come back after laying low for a while. He might still. There might still be a chance to find him. I really should have made this optional. That's that's yeah, the issue. What I was thinking that. Yeah. Here, I'll write that down. Well, I can say one thing for sure. This is a train wreck. Ha! <laughs> the event has to be at variable fifty, need forty for it to, for him to appear in the desert. Here, so I don't, I don't know what's going. Huh. And I can't check my variable right now because I'm not in debug mode. The other appearance is time-based? What the heck? Is it? Ah, uh, my dashing dame, you have returned to me at last. It is. Uh, at a most dear delight, for today I have a special unveiling planned just for you. I'd like to tell you about myself. Whether it is the sands or some other force, or just the sheer amount of shrapnel tumble we already scrapped around here. Something about this place has a habit of pulling others in. Sometimes through full trains at a time. I was just coming through Born Region via train when something went wrong. I lost everything. Many people around me died. I was remarkably lucky, so I did what I could for the survivors. They could not move far. I found one of the less damaged cars further into this rat's nest and pulled them in. There, I did what I could for them, but with no money, medicine, or food, my options were as limited as their time. The time it would have taken to receive a paycheck would have been too late. That was when I began stealing. I just needed to help the others get by. Some of them didn't. 
Others made a full recovery and went on to lead the lives they came here for. Some stayed here, and in time left. Since then, there have always been people here, though the faces change with the seasons. Fugitives, refugees, sinners, and those who have been sinned against. Everyone is equal here, but always wanting by necessity. I've done what I could just to deliver. In time, necessity became skill. Skill became renown. Now it's almost too dangerous for me to try anything else. Even now, there are people here who need protection. I wanted to be able to offer them that protection. That was why I had to steal your ultimate Pokemon. Nothing personal. I haven't even had the time to do anything with it, between evading you and the police and gathering other supplies. But I hope you understand now. I can't just give this back. This place is my home. So, even if it pits me against a brilliant angel such as yourself, I will protect it. Oh, well, I suppose I shouldn't lead with this. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. No! Foul play. Oh, no. Well, it was going to foul play. But that was a quick confusion. Sure is nice to have a ground type. Things you don't usually say. I know. Like, I recognize it's a good type. I just don't like a whole lot of ground types. Um, let's do... Yeah. I didn't teach this sword stance, but it happens. Oh. Okay. That's fine. Did you lose? Are you losing? No, I'm not losing. Oh. Ow! That weak special defense sure really hurts still. Are you sure? No. Yes. Are you sure you're not losing? Um, I'm, I'm not actually watching. I'm laying on the couch because I also live here. So I don't know what's going on. I'm pretty sure I'm not losing. Possibly you losing. I did not know. Uh, I called Bill. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell. Thank you Certainly for the vote of confidence. A spiritual fight, that's for sure. <laughs> Any other ground types you like besides Flygon? Marowak. Uh, and the Nidos are okay. And uh, Shiny Gastrion is okay. Quagsire. For my brief poking around on RPG Maker, you have to either talk to the police chief or trigger the other time-based event in Tourmaline to get Corrin Rouge to show up in Train Town. Oh, so you only catch him there at night. Okay, that makes sense. Is this just going to sucker punch me? I think I should extreme speed. No, I should have close combated. Fair enough. Well, actually, maybe it will have sped. Oh, well. I think just power up punch kills, right? Yeah. That part is like three me. Yeah. Um, no, extreme speed is plus two, sucker punch is plus one. Now let's see what this so-called ultra-powerful Pokemon can... Wait, what? <laughs> There's something funny about this game's nebulous time span. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, theoretically, it could have been years since he got that thing, and he never looked at it. <laughs> There, there is a comment about it in the dialogue just for, for that specific note. Is the there? Comment? Yeah, I haven't even had time to look at it between oh. getting chased and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true, though. I. But also, like, yeah, he really should have like maybe opened it once, <laughs> possibly twice, if he was up for it. If Cass's long weekend theory is true, this is reasonable, though. That's true. Yep. See? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm telling you. <laughs> she's cooking, she's cooking. I'll just go turn myself in now. The long weekend thing reminds me of like how technically previously all of episode 19 happened in one day and the same day as episode 18. <laughs> and that, that, that's really funny to me. 
Yeah, your legs just really hurt by the end of it. Mm hmm I, I'm glad that people like it as a name, though, because, like, I, I stole it from uh, the game, if any of you know it, Sim Tunes. There is an instrument dude named Decibel, and that just stuck in my head for some reason. Gee, I wonder where his name came from. I know, right? Well, this here's it. Ain't much in the way of memories, but it'll keep you out of the sand. What do you think? Certainly need some TLC, but with a good broom and a bit of elbow grease, it should be all hunky-dory. Is, is, is Hunky Dory like Dory from Finding Nemo? Yeah. Except... As a hunk. Himbo? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Exactly. That's weird. Hey, your boyfriend or something? I'll say yes for the relationship point. Just to fluster him. <laughs> no, I'm just playing with you. But if you're looking to stay too, the two of you can share. Emoji. Or I'm sure we can find you another car. Oh my, oh my boy, howdy. <laughs> my heavens to Betsy. Well, this is per her, that's not even her. Well, this is perfect. Y'all like it? Yeah, this is me. Then it's all yours. Feel free to clean up or redecorate the place however you like. And if you need anything, you just let me or one of the others know and we'll see what we can do for you. I imagine y'all are mighty tired, but when you feel up to it, come out and introduce yourself to the rest of the folks here. Everyone's always excited to meet a new friend. Until then, His I'll leave sexy you be. Men powers. <laughs> Transcend all bounds of orientation. <laughs> it is my moral obligation to fluster that twink. Maybe I'll take her up on that. Sleep is sounding pretty swell right now. Amy, thanks for bringing me here. Yeah, Amy, thanks. <laughs> Wink. Feel like maybe things will be okay. I guess I'm gonna take a nap and then let's talk more later, okay? And I don't know if I'll really be able to sleep, but I sure need to try anyway. Mood. Oh, that's so me right there. I was in that pose. <laughs> How much did you sleep this morning? I don't want to talk about it. Okay, understandable. Yeah, I'm I'm a little bummed I didn't get his relationship line here because uh, you know it's what is it like? Uh, yeah, I know I failed. Um, it's something like you know I feel like I could sleep better if you're here with me, and I know I know Krim has told me I believe uh, that when they first saw this thing, they saw that line and just you know had to had to save here and turn the game off. <laughs> uh, what's the lore behind the infinite fairy tale forest? So, so Titania's gym is constructed. The infinite fail Terry forest is not meant to actually be infinite. It is just like, you know, getting lost in a lost wood style. Um, this, this is not a spatial distortion. Yeah, you're not getting a physical explanation for it. This is the Pokemon. I remember finding that to be like reborn when I found out about that. Because I thought like, he just has a weird place because his dead is all fucked up. <laughs> Happens. So the way that this is programmed, this is one map, and then when you get close to the, the boundary of the map, uh, it teleports you like from the right side back on the left side. And after you get teleported in any direction three times, except for if you go like back and forth over the barrier, I accounted for that. If you just, if you get teleported <laughs> three times, uh, then the stairs will appear. Very sophisticated. I mean, it worked out. It was a simple way to do it Just, rather than making oh a giant. Oh god! Hat. What's up? <laughs> oh. I love Titania's gym. Just out of the anime fairy tale. <laughs> oh yeah, didn't you make that anime, Amy? <laughs> what? What is that ungodly sound coming out of you? Just the sound to my suffering. Okay, well, could you pipe it down a little? She's dribbling. It's kind of awkward. Wilton. Okay, what? What is... The, the gym is a new one. Like... Like, it is... Okay. I Aquamir, what about the gym is similar to... 
to the anime fairy tale because I know that the last name is there. I know that the design is similar. And those are both coincidences. I didn't base Titania off of the anime fairy tale. I haven't seen the anime fairy tale. Any similarities are pure coincidence. And this Probably keeps happening. But the gym? What about the gym is similar? You the just watched too much anime, hon. I... See, here, here's the thing, though. Like, this gym is 100% ripping off of something. But it's not the anime fairy tale. What is it ripping off of? It is ripping off of the Pokemon third movie. This entire pink area, the grassy playing and the pink sky, is based on the area where Brock battles Molly. And these, uh... So, hold it up. That's exactly what I assumed what happened here. Like, she just found this place. And she just decided to make a gym in it. <laughs> and like, I don't know if we can find the uh, the stairway again, but that that blue crystal uh, where you first emerge from the trains and into here, uh, yes, the one with the unknown. That is based on the stairway that they emerge of out of here. These floating steps; those are in Molly's Crystal Palace. Um, I really like that movie. I think it is a great movie. And. Uh, Yeah, the Ente movie, Ente and Unknown. Uh, it is it is a little bit obvious if you think about it how the entire game is a little bit ripping off of that movie. Maybe, a little bit. Maybe a little bit more than a little bit if we're being honest. But this area especially, this area was the deliberate reference. The, the it gets referenced again in Ente's quest itself. That's true. Yes, just because just because I really like the movie. <laughs> it, it's a very pretty gay movie. Very pretty area in general. Very pretty area, yeah. No, I, I have a, a lot of fun with this. I could tell. <laughs> History and literature have an awful habit of letting little girls wander past the forest's edge, only to be swallowed up by any number of enchantments beyond. Hint, hint. How is Titania's castle floating in the sky like this? It's not actually floating, it's suspended and supported. If you look on the floating islands and all that, um, all of every single floating island is connected via like a rail or pipe that is actually suspending it. All smoke and mirrors. Yes, I should have healed. Just die. Yeah. Welcome, Amy. You were quite generous to show that boy here. I thank you for that since he, in turn, showed me. He is beyond incompetent, but his victim act must be quite compelling. Everyone is so quick to give in to crocodile tears, but when they come to the jaws of the beast, they act surprised. How funny. Now let's get started. Better keep your guard up. Uh, I imagine that the knights are effectively automatons, and then some of them are just normal suits of armor, but you're wrong of the ones that Lynn inhabits. That I would make a lot more sense than the alternative. Yeah. Um, this, I, thought uh, they were just, uh, I, I thought they were just haunted or something. Well, originally, because I thought this place was like, not an actual real place rather than <laughs> a fabric cage. Oh yeah, that makes sense. My favorite minor detail here is that there's a literal route split. You go through the other door in Seacrum. Yeah. I was just about to mention that. I appreciate that because it was kind of more of a pain in the ass than I bargained for because I tried to reuse some other rooms. Like the way it's set up is that uh, you go in this door or the other door and then there's a corner. So the corner has to be opposite and then there's a straight hallway. So the teleport events of the straight hallway actually have to be reversed uh, because I was trying to conserve maps or fo foolishly or something. I don't know. It was way more of a hassle than it actually needed to be. But this whole thing is a mess because I decided to do that and like it doesn't matter at all. Nevertheless, Titania hired LARPers. <laughs> Alright, now I just need to be Brylin. So, fun fact. Uh, the name Rylan is borrowed from the project that I worked on when I was like 12 or 13. Rylan was the name of uh, one of the early main antagonists. So I'm like, let's just, let's just, uh, quick callback for personal reasons. Oh wait, there's Lancelot first. Bye. I'm sorry, Ninetales. I'm sorry, Shimmer. Where is Shimmer? I actually don't know where my Ninetales went. Oh. Bing. She is. She's on her meech. Here we go.
Hey, what's up? Didn't I tell you to keep your guard up? She awakens in a tower. Stone. Cold. Alone. Yellow. I was glad I was able to make these like climbing vines function. Amy. Up here. I'm so glad to see you. I I woke up here and, and Lynn. I'm sorry, Amy. I, I'm so sorry. I didn't want her to I didn't want this. I didn't want this. Please believe me. I'm... I'll try and find a way to you. I'll find a way down. Just hold on. Please. He'll, he'll find a way down, alright. There you are. You, I was ready for. But did you really have to drag those other vermin in? Listen, I've got a plan. Do you trust me? Yeah, sure. After everything I've done? Seriously? Why? No, forget it. Thank you. Here, hang on to these. This will be over soon. Probably didn't need to repel there. A dragon guards her, its fangs bared to the world. It just leads somewhere between a couple islands, doesn't matter. There's stuff in the background. Brimstone breath faithfully reserved for whatever metal-clad ignoramus dares think himself so mighty that even fire may not char his miserable flesh. Which I yeah, suppose we... Miserable death flesh. Yeah. Char. Charmander. Char. Charmander. Char. I'm glad that people like this part. I had a lot of fun with this part and for writing the... Uh, the story there with the dragons was based on... Some of Titania's interactions with uh, Ikaru, and some of my interactions with one of the other line leaders and past. Uh... Oh, thank you for the sub, Mova. Uh, and interactions with a past uh, community member, Mashu, where the metaphor of just kind of uh, dragons as a matter of protection uh, for the princess trapped in a fairy tale tower kept coming up. And so I wanted to try and. Uh... I feel like I have almost not done it justice, and I wouldn't be surprised if I returned to the concept at some point in the future. But it was it was something that I, I thought about a lot at the time, personally. That's probably not a bad thing to keep in mind. Uh, yeah. Draw some elements from. Like, like fuck, fuck dragons uh, being captors. They, they are the protectors. There are some, like, Tumblr comics about that that have appeared in recent years since then. Um, and I appreciate those a lot. But it was, it was something that had come up uh, personally and with Tanya a lot. All right, what's my plan for Reshiram? I didn't think about that, and I should have. I don't really have a whole lot of utility on this team. Kill it. Hmm. No, my, my mounds are a fine level. Fail. Yeah, I just have to survive. Okay, but, but you know what would help you survive? Killing it? Yeah. Kill. Use your kill move, Dougal. Here's what I'm thinking. Encore and a dragon move. That, if I outspeed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a really good plan. Um, I just don't know if I outspeed it. I guess. I guess. Low pony. Oh, uh, low pony probably. But if it's pre marina, definitely not. Oh yeah, definitely not pre marina. It's low pony. Um, sneak around the restroom or feed it some poking attacks. Well, because I was also thinking, if its main attacks are dragon and fire, I do have immunities to each of those. But, but it doesn't right. work though, because I because I have several blades, which is more breaker. 
Oh, it has... Right. Fuck. <sighs> okay, fair enough. Encore it is. This is also just like an animated statue. This one, we can probably assume it's an automaton or something, but I'm more willing to write this off as, you know, bullshit Pokemon magic. Much like the Garchomp statues. Alright, we'll see if we outspeed. And, and for that matter, the other knight armors. Yeah. Hey, did we update the mechanic where the Mega Sphere is calculated after evolving? Um, yeah. I also hope so. Looks like yes. Cool. Thank you for the sacrifice, Lisa. Now, how do we kill this? Uh, you did just let the thing that does boosted damage die, so... Interesting point. We didn't think that about that. That does get weak power. So. Hold those. Oh, that helps later, I guess. Okay, that's all we need. Calculated. <laughs> okay, but I don't think the Prima automatically kills it, even with the Z move. The, um, the, the field just gives us boosted bulk, so. Oh, yeah, you have the Z move, but I forgot about it. You all that perish so I didn't I didn't realize that. I don't wanna use perish song, that's a cop out. Fair enough. Okay, but if we have roost that might be an issue. Whoa, whoa. Uh nature power ah. is actually super effective, right? That'll be rock tomb? Yeah. That will probably won't kill. But maybe we can get it low enough to. Uh... It's super boosted here, so probably will go out of range. Okay, there we go. Cool, easy game. Other than you know the minor terror that you felt. I don't know the meaning of the word terror. Terror is not in this chapter. But in some ways, isn't she in every chapter? <laughs> but in truth, there is one who can slay the beast. The one to whom its back is turned. And his name is John Cena! Ba -ba -da -ba! That was awful. Okay. <laughs> that, that was appalling. <laughs> Apologize. I'm sorry to John Singa in particular. And also everybody who just had to hear you say that. And also everybody who just had to hear me say that. So, she gave you the bracelets freely. Why don't you do the same for me? Or do you really think you can stand up to me? Even after what happened to your precious champion? <laughs> and so it's over. <laughs> that was all it took, huh? Someone should have done that a long time ago. Our whole world's in disarray because of you. Wait, what? Well done. If you keep swinging that thing around like that, sooner or later, someone's going to get hurt. Yeah, you. That was all it took. Hmm? Ow! Hey, let go of me. Is that really what you want? Should I let go? Ugh. One step closer and she's cinders, Amy. So, this is how weak you are? Long attack while your opponent's back is turned? Is that really all you can muster? And yet, now look whose back is exposed. <sighs> Yours, Aegislash! Amy. For the sake of everything good in this world, just fucking die already.
And what was that kid even doing? He shouldn't have gotten in the way, but it's her fault that it ended up like this in the first place. <laughs> I feel like shit. Come on. Let's go. Absolutely tried <laughs> pushing Lin in the lava. Yeah, that's a... That's a I'm pretty... surprised she didn't do that herself, actually. Yeah, true. Like, Titania would do that. Yeah. Did she teleport his body into the suit of armor at the point of the stab? No. She had uh, conked him out and dressed him in it in the first place and then was baiting. Uh, because, oh, yeah. you know, in the, in the other uh, route, it actually works as far as stabbing her. Like, you know, she still doesn't care that much, but she does get stabbed. So this is kind of in response to that. Didn't someone ask if Lynn ever lied? At one point she says she never killed anyone except Sigmund. Yeah, but Titania is the one who killed Taka. Lynn just put her in position that's, to do uh, so. That, that's on a technicality. That's <laughs> on a technicality. Like, yeah. like, that's, that's added a lot of asterisks there when she says that. It's, I mean, it's, it's a pretty significant technicality, though. I mean, if Titania yeah. didn't try to, you know, stab people then Taka wouldn't be dead. Exactly. It exactly. is right, Laura. Uh, how did Lynn actually survive is because her body is not organic. This body is not organic anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, Ame, Ame as well. Oh. But we could we could say Hydreigon for that. I don't recall that line, though. Does anybody else remember that line? Because I don't. Which line? Uh, about her saying that she didn't kill anyone except Sigmund. Is that a thing that I've forgotten? I remember something vaguely similar to her, but I don't think she ever actually explicitly says it like that. Okay. There's in the gear. Like, there's, a, there's, like, there's a sentiment there, but like... Oh. It's probably just, you know, the typical gaslighting throwing doubt on it. Yeah. So, like, Taka was unconscious in the suit of armor. She had conked him out. Um, you, brought the chloroform um, you said that, You said that uh, the suits are, like, automatons, right? So, like, maybe they have, like, a... Like, this is a set of instructions that they just automatically do, and she just had that turned on. I can't believe, in addition to being a Tumblr sexy man, Taka is also the purple man from Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that, that was dumb. That, that was really dumb. I don't know why I laughed at <laughs> Springtrap or whatever. Yeah. Um... So one, one other detail between the routes is that uh, you can see the blood. Actually, one other between the routes, we can see right here. You can see the blood on Taka's yeah. uh, body. There is no blood on oh. Lin's body. And when I did the... Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm begging you, please never speak again. No. Uh, when I did the banner for episode 17, it is the suit of armor being stabbed by Titania's Age of Slash. Uh, and you specifically know that that is the Z-Chrome route version of that stab because there is no blood in the banner. Which was also hinting to the fact that Lynn's body is not organic. This is one of those hints that I don't think anybody really paid attention to, but it was there. I feel like one of those things, like, I, yeah, you kind of just know it's not real. Like, you just, yeah, she's not dead, but like, we're just going to go along with it. Mm hmm. Because at this point, she's basically the main antagonist at this point, so like, it can't be that easy. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, Trip, welcome. Nothing bad has happened here. Hey, true. Yeah, it's it is a pretty minor thing when it's like a few dots on it, right? Yeah, it's so it's so minor. I don't, I really don't expect anybody to notice it, but it's something that I've thought about for a while because that's one of the especially things. The, that, like, go ahead. Especially given the color scheme of the area was already like heavy red and mm -hmm. heavy red. Yeah, true. Like you can just overlook it. Did I talk to Taka? I didn't. Amy, don't worry. Oh. This, this is fine. Mm. Can't believe you're a twink murderer. <laughs> well, no, I guess I can. Damn. Yeah, the main the main pulse that Luna is responsible for is Abra. Does 
stock I have and I cash on. Press E to loot. <laughs> Alright. Um, we should... Save. Well, no. Save the game. Let me, let me, let me yeah, plan for this. It's coming out again. So, I should brick break over return for now. We can always teach return again later, because we have the TM for that, right? We have the TM for that, right? Alright. Let's go. Oh yeah, we also have this. So after its death must she weep, for it is a terrifying endeavor to face such a creature as that man, and lose such a dear friend as a dragon, and finally to have fi to find yet another one who would be so willing to lock her away and keep her safe from history, true love, and other such poisons. After all, happily ever after just means the writer stopped paying attention. I mean, it's only a few level difference. I think it'll be fine. If it seems like it's making a difference, then I'll, then I'll candy up. But I'll just see how it goes. <sighs> that woman is dead, but I don't feel good about it. That boy may have been on their side, but why was he? It has to have been something she did. Everything is her fault. <sighs> Sometimes I think Amy is lucky to be able to forget. But you're here for the gym battle, aren't you? Are we doing that now? Right. Okay, this will be a six on six single battle with the Aloy badge and the sapphire bracelets at stake. I really don't feel like losing after all what just happened. We're not at the happy ending. <laughs> there is no such thing. That's why I have to keep fighting. Okay, we assume it Aurora Veils. Bye bye, bitch. All right, that's an issue. The wiki says her battle sprite is based on Candace from DPP. No, no shot. No, I'm pretty sure it's it's like. Rena, I believe? It was Sabrina originally, and I kept editing it. Sizer already. Okay, and I can get my safe switch. Not even a problem. Now, I'm expecting a U-turn, but let's see with Flare Blitz. Mm. So she turns into Klefki, that could be problematic. It does not have fusion. It does not? It's bug bite, sword sounds bug bite, bug punch. That was a very bold sword stance. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, uh, it, 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 it likes doing that because it doesn't realize you have more than 80 base power. Uh, pain. Alright, and again, sure is nice to have a ground type. Um, let's see, what are we going to do right now? Surely it's going to use a steel move. Uh, let's do this. Ow, okay, I thought I would live that, but that's fine. Um, let's see. So I'm expecting this to King's Shield. So I should Encore twice. Or actually, it can't use it twice in a row, right? Does that always fail? Um, it doesn't always fail. It's like, it gets a third chance off the second try. Okay, this is protect rules. Yeah. That's a little bit awkward. Doesn't matter, because uh, you go first and you encore it until it's lost to move. Well, no, because it is already encored because the King's Shield priority. 
I didn't think about that, so I don't need to encore again. Oh, I thought I thought it was immune to the encore because uh, King Shield is like all moves on this field, right? Oh, you're right. It is. So yeah, thank you for reminding me of that. Okay. Now I can do this. Oh wait, that was the guaranteed fail, wasn't it? God damn yeah. it. <laughs> okay, yeah. I should power up punch. Or that, okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 that, 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 that. Does it have aqua jet? No. That's... Don't get cocky. It's not like this means anything. All right. So here, I think I just attack, right? I don't think it'll King's Shield at this point. This will King's Shield, but I'm not making contact, so it should be fine. And now we win. Nice. Easy game. Yeah, who needs levels? I have five super effective <laughs> types. <laughs> Today is not my day. Take your when badge. When is True. <laughs> she has no days in this game. Don't feel special. With that badge, Pokemon up to level 90 will listen to you. No, it's just today because this is only one day on level Oh, true, 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 true. Yeah, but when is her day? <laughs> She'll have it someday. I think her day is her, her character ending. True. You can have this too. You did save my life just then, so thanks. What a boring performance. Why? How are you alive? You should not be alive right now. Do you understand now? Steel will not make me bleed. Your shining armor is but tinfoil to the brimstone breath of the new world. But that's not really important. What's important is that Amy leaves with those sapphire bracelets. Why would you need Amy to leave with them? Are you two working together? Hey there. Aren't we? That doesn't make sense. You're lying. Believe whatever you want. That's all you've ever done anyway. Amy will keep the bracelets. And your friend will keep her life. Don't you dare touch her. I killed you once, I'll do it a thousand times more. Feel free. You understand the rules. You could be the very reason she dies. But maybe you would want that. Don't be stupid. Nobody wants blood on their hands. That's why you made me kill that boy. Ironic. I asked if you would trust me. It turns out I'm the one who can't trust you, and yet I don't have a choice but to. Amy, mark my words. If you betray us, or if anything happens to Amaria, it'll be your back, my blades, and next. I'm going to go deal with that boy downstairs. What um, happened to him is- room. Say what? Oh, I was replying to someone in the comments. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rush yeah. What happened to him is my responsibility. Once that's done, I'll meet you at Amy's house. Go without me. Easy game. Is Titania inspired on Cass? <laughs> so, uh, no, because Titania was written before I met Cass, but like Cass matches Titania very perfectly and she's part of why we got to talking. But Titania was originally inspired by, like, what 
I imagined an alternate version. I talked about this in a previous episode, an alternate version of what I might be like if I wasn't so open about a certain traumatic experience uh, in my past. Tanya was written before I designed cast? No. Before I met her. <laughs> oh god. Design cast. Did I say that? You didn't. Okay. So Cass is a Titania role player. Don't don't be mean to her like that. Like Titania is great, but Cass Cass is more. My favorite line of Titania is build yourself a little bridge and get over it. Good. Good, good, good. I, I like that being a catchphrase for her. It's some bitchy thing I saw on a forum a long time ago. I, it was probably like a forum for goth teens and witches or something. And the head admin was like, uh, you know, if you're not willing to follow the rules, build, build, build yourself a little bridge and get over it. And it just stuck with me for some reason. It's a pretty good line. <laughs> uh, what traumatic experience? Um, I talked about that in detail in a previous episode. So I suggest looking for the one on YouTube called uh, Titania Amaria and the Story Behind Reborn. This is a shimmer on my side. Yipes, partner. I didn't see you coming even a bit. Gosh, the old back alley she building here is a real spooker. Alright, easy fucking video game, except for the part where Taka died. That sucks. Anyway, um, we're done here, and I guess I think... I think it makes sense to save Amy for next week, even though we would usually go for a bit longer. Um, chat, are there any any questions that you have for Azari before we uh, say goodbye? Who's Azari's favorite character? Does he uh, have OnlyFans? No, don't ask that. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, fine, just finish my turn. Uh, probably Zephyra. I have a Zephyra or Solaris. Nice. Uh, Memory of Reborn. That's a hard one, and I, I, I can't actually think of it off the top of my head. <laughs> in part because it's been a lot. In part because it's almost 1am and I'm really tired right now. Fair, fair. Um, least favorite... Probably Anna. Ooh. Anna or like Lynn. Damn. Or 2069, 720, something like that. <laughs> nice. Not meaning me, smack my head. Okay, to be fair, that, that memory, like that day was actually one of my favorites to it in general. I really did like that day, so. <laughs> You've got a lot. Okay. Uh, uh, what What's your favorite anime or game series? Uh, favorite games in particular is Bloodborne. Valid. Favorite Bound game, Titania, actually. Uh, I don't know the Muffin Man. <laughs> uh, and who, uh, let's see. What's your favorite type? Is it Ground? No, Ground is one of my, one of my favorites, but my favorite is Ghost. Oh, okay. Okay, that's better. That's better. Uh, I support that. I support that. Uh, favorite Pokemon and favorite battle in the game? Um, favorite Pokemon, Garchomp. Favorite battle in the game, Titania. Nice. Oh, I'm glad you could be here for this then. Yeah, I, I, it's mostly because I remember having a really fun experience my first time through it. Like, it just turned into two reverse sweeps happening at the same time. Like, I beat high half her team, then Scissor beat like most of my team, then absolutely beat most of her team back. <laughs> Good. I'm glad to hear that. No, it's just that going from it having that to not just felt weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, we didn't actually also, tell the embarrassing stories. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, he almost got off. He almost got off scot free. No, we told we told one of them before. Uh, we we told we told basically before. Um, but I'll I'll just briefly summarize that that Azri joined when he was uh, very young, and he had a very uh, let's say quirky typing style. Uh, and it was it's just been nice to see him grow up uh, with us and you know turn into. He he was he had he had a quirky typing style. I'd almost say trashy, even sorry. Um, Camel and, case is pretty trashy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was it was every every letter capitalized for every word. Uh, why was that? How how did you how did well, you get I, to typing it like that? 
I, I think not a keyboard issue I had, and I just stuck with it. Like, I just started doing it habitually at some point. Oh, okay. A keyboard issue. Like, I, like, like, it started as a keyboard issue, and I just started doing it habitually. And, that makes sense. And I had to unlearn it. I have never read Homestuck. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm glad that like three different people jumped on that though. <laughs> I, 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 why, why, why did the Homestuck thing come up? I, I'm, I'm confused. Uh, because the trolls in Homestuck have each unique typing quirks, and I believe that's one ah. of them. What is his favorite Twitch girl? I'm not asking that. No, you can answer that if you want, but I don't know if you I want to. I don't watch a whole lot of streamers. Yeah. Um. So, so he had that. He had that quicker, quirky typing style, and uh, being a 12 year old on forum, he tended to spam a lot. But but no really it's just it's been, it's just been nice to see him grow up. Okay, can I tell can I tell the car accident story? Oh god. <laughs> oh god. If you oh if god. you tell me you don't want me to, I won't. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is what I would rather know, I'm sorry. Okay, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. That's fair. <laughs> um <laughs> no, just being reminded of it just being reminded of it just dealt like two K psychic damage. Yeah, I, I understand that. <laughs> I think I really think that it's so funny in retrospect and especially it's just incredibly funny. Just because knowing like, how much you've grown up. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> um, I'm turning twenty two at the end of this year. We, we 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 stand character development. We, we very we deserve. Very much appreciate um, character development in this probably cheesecake. Where, Pretty basic. Know, but I just like cheesecake. Most of our uh, our users' characters, if you will, are uh, <laughs> still in rather need of developing. Yeah. How many carrots do you think you could eat? Um. Yeah. Time? I'm like nine years older. Than you. I'm not. I'm nine years younger than Ami. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. Uh, so so instead of that, I'll say you know um, as an example of the of the character development, like uh, Azari spammed his way into the old like nightclub on the forum because the nightclub was based on a secret forum where you could only get access to after buying a special user group, and that's buying with on forum currency you got from just, just from posting. So Azari posted a hell of a lot and got in there very quickly. And what was that first thread you even made about? Do you remember? I I I remember it. Mostly because Dan likes to mention it every now and then. It's very funny. Okay. But I don't. I don't remember the actual detail. I just remember it happened. It did. Uh, yeah. Like, so in part, like there's a bit of a story behind it. Like in part, it, in part it happened because at the time I was getting bullied at school, and there was a whole you know slew of things happening in my life at the time that I Aww. don't really want to. Talk about. Yeah. Fair. Fair. Like it, it, uh, some of my behaviors at the time were like, a result of that. I see. Yeah. That makes sense, and you know, wh whatever it was, that first thread was truly, truly like yeah, yeah, top tier atrocious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a kind of thing you would assume is a shit roast, but it wasn't. Yeah. Um, and so, so he got into that secret nightclub, and we saw that, and we're like, mm, no, actually, we're booing you out of here. And I felt bad for that at very the time. Under very understandable. Very understandable. <laughs> I, I appreciate I'm you sure saying that. Yeah, totally that time, but like, <laughs> things happen. Uh. Because I, I felt really bad for, like, you know, I don't, I don't know if there was anybody else that we just, like, said no to. Um, but, but like, by the time that you got enough points back, I think you were basically fine by then, right? That was, like, what, a year or two later? Something like that. Uh, are these forums archived anywhere? They were archived privately for the group that had access to them previously uh, until recently. Unfortunately, a recent incident means that they are no longer available. What does Azri like? What does he do? <laughs> what do I? Uh, honestly, I've I'm still trying to figure out what I actually like nowadays because I I kind of fell out with a lot of my friends over the years, mostly because like we moved away from each other, and uh, I go to a university like two hours away from my actual house, so most of the time I spent commuting. But I just like games reading things. I used to like basketball and I still I often play it in my garden with my brother, but not anything particular. I study mathematics at university. Not much else coming to mind at the moment anyways. It's the Azari in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> well I'm glad I'm glad that you could join us here today. And yeah, that was uh fun. I like it. Permit yourself to be exposed to us gushing over how much you know. Like, like we said, you really just have become a cool person. 
Like you, you had you had your spam phase, and then you had I don't know if it was the crowd you were hanging out, but I I, I feel like you kind of had your like edgy teenager phase, and now you're just like a yeah. chill guy, and we appreciate you so much. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And, and to, show, and to show the appreciation, let us revisit your cringe days from now on again, <laughs> yeah. simply for our pleasure and amusement. It's only out of love, we promise. <laughs> You've been doing it for a long time, so I know. You. Yeah, you just have to I accept know. this by now. Uh, I, I, I told, yeah, I told it. her one time that uh, maybe you shouldn't send that one to Azari. Which one was Which it? Which one was, was it? The Neopets form. They capital. Oh, the, yeah. oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, and you're already you're already dying over there. It was it was somebody was capitalizing every letter, every first letter of each word, and occasionally a letter in the middle if it was a compound <laughs> oh, word. Oh Yeah, like so, important. The ant was capitalized. The ant was capitalized in important. <laughs> Oh, like, and I like, was I, like, "No, that is aunt as well. She does not deserve that." That's fine. Aunt that's as well. <laughs> yeah. So import ant, and that's not no, no, even, no. that's not that word. <laughs> I specifically hate ants. So that, that, that's yeah, true, really. true, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. As you hobby, why are we being weird now? Yeah. uh... No thanks. Aquamira, like, I'm gonna have to ask you to dial that one back. Are you the, are you also the person who asked about the fucking OnlyFans, OnlyFans that yes. I heard about? Yes. Interesting. And Twitch girl. <laughs> Interesting. All right, and on that note, I think uh, I think it's time for us to go. <laughs> what traumatic experience? Interesting. Is Titania inspired on cast? No, but if we met, she could be. <laughs> And by that, I mean you, and presumably me driving an Asia slash through your heart. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean what? All right. Anyway, uh, yes, please, please touch some grass. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs> Thank you for being here. See ya.